we're on chapter nine and i don't like the way the book does differential equations i think it's well a little bit not, not pedantic yeah i guess pedantic is the right word um, when it comes to these differential equations but really you guys know everything you already need to solve differential equations from chapter seven and it's all about putting it together then at this point so I, i'm not going to follow really through nine chapter uh from nine one through nine eight uh, i'm not really going to follow uh like any proper method of doing it so i'm just going to throw a bunch of these guys together so let's take a look at different uh, systems of differential equations then and uh most of the time uh you'll be confronted with this problem uh, solve the system x prime is equal to ax okay and so you need to solve the system and then they'll give you an a so for example then here uh, so this first example will do let's say a is equal to negative 2 negative 7 negative 1 and 4 so how do we do this well when you solve systems of equations you actually just end up uh, doing a lot of things you did in chapter seven. So the first thing we want to do is to find the eigenvalues uh, and the eigenvectors. So uh, find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, which you really shouldn't be, but you know, uh, we lose things over time. That's okay. Uh, you go back to my chapter seven videos. We cover a lot of this stuff uh, in chapter seven. Well, all of this stuff is covered in chapter seven. So determinant then of a minus lambda i, I'm assuming you guys know how to do all of this already, is then negative two minus lambda, negative seven, negative one, four minus lambda. And this becomes lambda squared minus two lambda minus 15. So I get lambda minus five and lambda plus three, which means my eigenvalues are negative three and positive five, okay? And so then let's take a look at the lambda equals negative three case. Um, which then if I add three to the diagonal, I get uh, one negative seven, negative one positive seven. Okay, and then we need to find an eigenvector. And if you remember how to find eigenvectors, right, that's some x, y such that, so this is then v1, and then I need to find an x, y such as zero, zero. So we see that seven, one works very well. And then lambda equals five, uh, you subtract five in the diagonal, so you get negative seven, negative seven, negative one, negative one. And then you see then that V2, uh, that's V1, so this is V2. And V2 can be not one, 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 but just one, one, because we're in two dimensions. Or negative one, one. Blah. Okay, so V2 is negative one, one. All right, and so what does that mean? So, okay, so this eigenvector corresponds to this eigenvalue of lambda equals negative three. And so then the last step is then to put them together uh, into a solution to the system. And how do I do that? Well, okay, so this, if my computer screen will respond, good. Um, this, first this first eigenvector corresponds to lambda equals negative three. So what I do then, I say there's some constant C1 times E two the negative three t, okay? And that's because lambda is equal to negative three. And then I take v1, right? And then I add uh, c2 times e to the five t, right? And then what do I do? Then I multiply by the eigenvector corresponding to five, which is negative one, one. And so then this is going to be uh, not y, but in our case, this is what x is going to be. So x then is equal to this, and we're done. Okay, so this works out very nicely when your matrix is not defective, right? Uh, it has an eigenbasis. It has a basis of eigenvectors. And yeah, so it, it works out very nicely this way. Okay, now what happens then? Uh, we'll do, actually, we'll cover another case um, in separate videos, uh, just to make these videos a little shorter so you guys can get through them uh, faster. So the next video is going to be uh, with complex eigenvalues.